Utilizing a material science approach to the field of nanotechnology, nanomaterials have become a hot topic of research with applications in day-to-day -day technology in today's world. Kabir Chasuja, a professor in chemical engineering at IIT Gandhinagar, along with his team, has recently discovered a glitch in the methodologies used to synthesize these 2D nanomaterials. Um, graphene has started finding its applications in batteries. Um, graphene is also used for preparing several ultra-strong materials. Um, at IIT Gandhinagar, we are working to synthesize uh, nano sheets which are like graphene but made from boron. The primary motive for choosing boron is its notorious chemistry. Although several theoretical chemists have predicted its existence in planar forms, there is no experimental proof till now. We came across um, this particular discovery purely by serendipity. Um, we were trying to make um, boron rich nano sheets just like scientists made graphene sheets from graphite. Is they take the layer graphite and they, they put it in, in a beaker which has lots of organic solvent and then they blast those crystals with high energy sound waves. What those sound waves do is they create lots of uh, jets within the organic solvent and these graphene layers start shearing apart. It is very um, interesting that um, the nanomaterial that was forming was similar to graphene, just that it was much much lesser in its lateral dimensions. This discovery had not been reported earlier. And what we realized was that um, it is possible for um, the molecules to combine together and form nanomaterial when they are exposed with this sound energy. What this means is that uh, when the scientists are exfoliating graphite in organic solvents, so two processes are happening. The graphite is exfoliating and the organic solvent itself is converting into some quantum dots. In simple terms, quantum dots are extremely tiny fluorescent nanostructures just 2 nanometer in diameter. Since most of the scientific community works on carbon, this discovery was hidden until now as there was no way to differentiate between the two sources of carbon, that is, parent material and organic solvent. The last 40 years saw the discovery of several new nanomaterials and during the previous decade that many of them started getting incorporated into technologies that we use in our day-to-day -day lives. Dr. Jasuja's lab is working with a viewpoint to make these nanomaterials and quantum dots more and more accessible to people in the future.